Hi everybody, nice to see you here. How are we today? Great. I feel great today actually, I have to say. The sun's shining and it's it's just, just nice. Anyway, back to our book, The Treasury of Animal Stories, because we are going to read virtually all of them because it's so good. And the one I'm going to read you today is a story that I've read before. Not this version, it's exactly the same tale, but it's a really interesting story. It's the monkey and the crocodile. Down by the bank of the Ganges River stood a beautiful rose apple tree. In among its branches lived a sleek and golden monkey. He loved nothing more than to laze in its shade and dine on its succulent fruit. One sunny day, the monkey saw a great long crocodile crawl out of the water and rest on the bank below. Try one of these! called the monkey, tossing down the ripe, rosy fruit. It's the most delicious food in the world. The crocodile caught the fruit in his toothy jaws. Mmm, mmm, he said, as he chomped it down. How perfectly scrumptious, so sweet, so juicy. Thank you, my friend. After that, the crocodile visited the monkey every day. Together, they would eat the fruit of that wonderful tree and talk in its cooling shade. Have you a wife? asked the monkey one day. I do, said the crocodile. Then, you, you must take her my very best rose apples, declared the monkey, so she too can taste their sweetness. The crocodile opened his enormous jaws and the monkey filled his friend's mouth with fruit. The crocodile's wife was overjoyed. Oh, how delectable, she cried, gulping the rose apples down. Where did you get them? Ah, oh, from, from a tree on the bank of the Ganges, the crocodile replied. But you can't climb trees, pointed out his wife. Did, did, did you collect them from the ground? Oh no, my friend the monkey throws them down for me to eat. Then we talk together in the shade. So, that's why you're so late home these days, said his wife. Oh! she went on, licking her jaws. A monkey that lives off rose apples must have such sweet flesh. I bet his heart tastes like heaven. Bring it to me! I can't, cried the crocodile quite appalled. The monkey is my friend. Bring it to me, snapped his wife, or I shall starve myself to death. The crocodile tried his best to change her mind, but his wife would not be swayed. I want that monkey's heart by tomorrow, was all she would say. So the next day, the crocodile called on the monkey once more. My friend, he said, my, my wife invites you to tea to say thank you for the wonderful rose apples. But, but you live in the water, said the monkey. I'll drown if I come to your home. Oh, no, 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 said the crocodile. Um, we live on, on a sunny island in the middle of the river. I'll take you there on my back. The monkey climbed down from his rose apple tree, his arms full of fruit for the, for the crocodile's wife. He leaped onto his friend's slippery back and with a spiss splash they were off, crossing the wide, wide river. The nearer they came to the crocodile's home, the worse the crocodile felt. The monkey is my friend he thought. I, I don't want my, my wife to eat him. At last he could take it no more. I, I haven't been quite straight with you my friend, he said. My wife has invited you to tea only because she wants to eat your heart. Ah, eat, 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 eat my heart, cried the monkey, thinking fast. Is that, is that, is that what she wants? Why didn't you tell me before? I don't keep my heart with me, my friend. It's, it's far too precious for that. It's safely stored at the top of my tree. Oh, let's go back to get it, said the crocodile. And the monkey happily agreed. With a swish of his tail, the crocodile turned around and headed back for the opposite bank. As soon as they touched dry land, the monkey sprang off the crocodile's back, rushed up his tree, and didn't come down. 
What are you doing? asked the crocodile, waiting patiently on the ground. Didn't you know we monkeys carry our hearts within us? said the monkey. My foolish friend, go away and tell your wife I'm never giving either of you a rose apple again. That's a shame, isn't it? But honestly, did the crocodile really think that he kept his heart somewhere else? It's in here. Dear me. Anyway, goodbye from the crocodile, who's not very happy. Goodbye from the monkey, who's a lot happier. Goodbye from the treasury of animal stories. And goodbye from Mr. C, who's very happy. Do you take care. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.